Welcome back everybody to Crows of Judgment. And I found this article talking about how Nezuko's latest transformation uh, has fallen under criticism. And look, what are you wondering about? It's the fact that she got her body sliced nearly clean through, that she lost a bunch of limbs, that she uh, at one point was uh, fully dismembered and decapitated and was using her congealed blood to stay together. No, it's it's the fact that she grew some big old titties. Uh, that 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 is why everybody is upset. So I was gonna be like, oh, let's read through this article, but ah, uh, does anyone really want to see idiots bitching and crying about Nezuko saying that they're sexualizing a minor and all this other shit when anybody who watches the show knows that when she fights. She literally will change into an adult. She actually does in the first episode. She actually becomes even larger. Um, but this is, if you read the manga, it's the same thing. The mangaka has her turn into an adult when she's fighting. And I'm pretty sure that it, given that this was the first transformation in the manga, it's done because she's fighting a female demon who is also an adult. So there you go. I was like, why read through this article where you're going to just see people that don't actually know anything that they're talking about and, and, and are just criticizing this shit because, oh my goodness, big old boobies, we must be offended. But I found this thread and I thought this was way more interesting than reading through that article. Um, Japanese users react to overseas complaints about Nezuko from Demon Slayer allegedly being sexualized. So this person actually translated all of these tweets, and I'm going to read through them because some of like this, this one especially got me fucking dying. But let's see how uh, how how Japanese Twitter is reacting to the very idea that uh, people are upset. That Nezuko uh, was turned into an adult woman. It seems that the cleavage of Nezuko Kamado in Kimetsu no Yaiba, Yukaku Hen, oh, Entertainment District, has been called sexual exploitation and sexualized overseas. What's more, it's illegal even if it's fictional. Dot, 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 question mark. It is said that she is 14 years old, but in the setting she is a demon. Nezuko Kamado, who has become a demon, regenerated her injured body and grew up to become an adult. The blow against Daki is the coolest part. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, actually, I was pretty sure, and I think somebody uh, posted more photos of their fight in here. Um, gosh, i probably go through this stuff forever to find it. Um, but eh, it's not that big of a deal. She's kind of like drawn like the... Um, She's drawn more like uh, the demon that they're fighting at the time. So I think that's all it was. So they would like better match each other. Because the demon she's fighting is an adult woman. Um, let's see. Here are a few comments from overseas users in reaction to some people declaring Nesuko is attractive during the previous days. Just for context. Y'all go crazy for... Ch <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Being in the anime community is always difficult. Y'all need to stop simping for Nezuko. What the fuck? Okay, that's actually funny. <laughs> that's actually funny. So, let's look through it, okay? She chewed down the limiter. Her body got bigger. And some kind of awesome pattern appeared on her skin, which is very obvious power-up description. As a woman myself, I like to see a bit of sexiness, so I'm happy to see this representation. Oh, wow. Women like looking attractive. How, how dare they? How dare they? You're offending Twitter. Shut up, you Japanese harlot. Isn't that legal in real life? Well, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's legal to fuck a demon in real life, but in reality, it's a fucking cartoon. Um, anime. More than a scene where a demon eats a man. More than many violent scenes. A cleavage isn't allowed. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's scenes where like like uh, Nezuko like jumps out and straight up decapitates a demon by kicking it with her feet. I think there are a lot of things to worry about before cleavage. That pretty little Nezuko can turn into such a tough demon. Can she go back to normal? I don't know. It's abnormal to only fixate on her <laughs> fixate on her breast. Oh, that was good.
In this scene, the foreign people who look at the breasts before the plant-like marks on her body or the protruding horns are not smart. Even though I'm a big boob lover, I was excited to see her grow and get stronger. <laughs> Even the guy that wanted the tits says it's more important that she transformed into a, like a full-fledged demon. I mean, it's established since the first episode, she becomes an adult while fighting. Actually, it has. In the very first episode, she turns into like this hulking monstrosity and, and is like several times larger than uh, the main character, who's her older brother. So she has done it like from, from the beginning. She just changed her body to be more suitable for fighting. It's the same as how Jack got even bigger after he had a limp strengthening surgery in Baki. And realistically speaking, there are girls who are 14 years old and are taller and bigger. Well, I, I yeah, true, but I think that's definitely dropped more like an adult, just to be clear. Uh, in other words, people overseas can't tell the difference between anime and in real life. Yeah, no, we can't. We're building the metaverse! We're getting the metaverse. It's all going to be the same. There are many sexual perverts and freaks abroad who cannot distinguish between anime and reality. So they want to eliminate the definition of escapism and avoiding responsibility and indulge in, I must eradicate crime. That is sexual exploitation. I'm not entirely sure it's sexual exploitation, but the rest of that message I completely agree with. Okay, this one I loved. Like, this shit is fucking great. <laughs> I feel like I was told to put this up. <laughs> oh, wordy. Okay, what do you mean you have more of a problem with breasts than people dying? Well, you know, there are the ones who have the policy of don't emphasize female sexuality. I'm not going to go through the scenes of people dying because it's not part of their policy. But I'm saying that breasts are a problem because they go against their policy. From the perspective of others, there's no need to go along with such a policy. <laughs> Uh, god damn oh i am not reading through all of that even 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 i am not willing to do it in other words people overseas can't tell it. yeah that was my favorite one too okay guys what did you think of japan's reaction or japanese twitter's reaction to uh nezuko and the accusations that they are sexualizing a minor in anime let me know, please, in the comment section. I, I, I literally can't.